have to be proactive about their health. So the first and foremost thing we need to do is be aware of it. What can we do to help ourselves? This used to be thought of as a man's disease. And as a community, we need to realize this is also a woman's disease. And women with high blood pressure need to be treated aggressively. We're talking specifically about young women. How young? About 35 to 44, that age group that we think not being at risk. We always think of women not being at risk, yet more women than men actually have high blood pressure. And in fact, there's a two to three-fold increase in high blood pressure in women who take oral contraceptives. Mm. Again, focusing on this younger population. This morning in Health Watch, dancing for your health. Dr. Suzanne Steinbaum is a cardiologist and director of Lenox Hill Hospital's Heart and Vascular Institute of New York. She also studied ballet for many years. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Before we get into the physical benefits, I want to talk about the mental benefits. It's a lot of focusing. It's a lot of attention to steps and detail. This is high intensity. This is real high intensity aerobic activity. She's burning tons of calories right now. She is strengthening and exercising her heart. I'm Lisa Birnbach for Houdini. Dark chocolate is health food. Really. It's good for your heart and that's not all. The cocoa bean is something that actually is good for our heart. Red wine has the same sort of antioxidant property in it. One to two glasses of red wine is actually helpful for you because, again, of those antioxidants. For decades, doctors have debated whether coffee drinkers have been helping or hurting their health. There was a lower incidence of heart disease, particularly in the women. With antioxidants, it's possible for us to prevent plaque formation and plaque in the arteries, that's what leads to heart disease and that's what leads to heart attacks. Women that are sleeping nine hours, interestingly, tend to have other risk factors for heart disease. They tend to be obese, have high blood pressure, they're not physically active. I think that when we separate sleep and say this is not an important part of people's lives and how their health, it's a mistake. 80% of those incidences of heart disease is due to modifiable risk factors like high blood pressure, like high cholesterol, like diabetes and smoking. So in fact, if you control these four variables, your likelihood of developing heart disease is really low. Women tend to put themselves last. It only requires 30 minutes of exercise, three to five days a week, to be protective of your heart. Diet, exercise, all these things become so important. Be proactive, take care of yourself. We do so much, we buy makeup, we get our hair done. Take care of yourself. The take home message here is this is a lifestyle issue. And the good news, it's empowering because it's in your hands and you can actually do something to change the outcome of what you might develop.